Big Daddy here with a post install look at Antergos KDE. So I got done with the install and I rebooted and here we are on the desktop. So let's go see what we got. If I can only type. So it is Antergos, which is why we're here. Um, it is based on KDE Neon. So you have the latest 5.8.2 Plasma version. And um, I'm not quite sh sure the specifics of the frameworks of the QT version, but I'm pretty sure that's the latest one. Okay, so you have the kernel 4.8.41. And in the install, it gave you the option to do the long-term support kernel. And I can't remember on the top of my head which version it was, but it's obviously not as late as this one. So my hardware is an i7, and it is an older i7, 2600, and I got 8 gigs of RAM. Now I did have 16, but I had an 8 stick, 8 gigabyte stick of RAM in the computer, and it, for whatever reason, it was causing errors, and I had to take it out. So there you go. All right. So software, it is a normal Arch Lean distribution. Um, it actually, pro I would think if I, rem my memory serves me right, it is actually a little bit leaner than like Manjaro when I had that installed. And if I didn't check the boxes for the extra software that Antigos puts in there, uh, I wouldn't have play on Linux or Steam, uh, Firefox wouldn't be here. So Chromium is your only browser that's installed. And I actually installed Thunderbird because that's what I use for email because it doesn't come with an email client either. Usually the Plasma comes with um, Kmail, but that wasn't installed. So you get to choose which one you want for that. Um, it gave me the option to choose Office as well, so that wouldn't be here. So it's a pretty lean, uh, lean machine, as they say. So here is your add or remove software. And... It's a, um, it's basically like, you know, any add or remove software program, except for, and one of the reasons why people go to Arch is the AUR repositories. So you, it, repository, I should say, you add that, you check that in the install, you enable it, and it opens it up to have a huge amount of software. You can pretty much find anything that you want in here so let's say we want to install like um i don't know pick a program um how about chrome is chrome in here no it is not see there's my first big daddyism of the day where i go to look for something and it's not there so <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. Wallpaper. What do we got for wallpaper? See, there's variety right there, which you would normally have to install a PPA for. So, um, you click it. It's going to give you all of what's going to install, just like it would on another program. Uh, and you hit commit. You add in your password to the recipe and it is extremely quick I mean I have never been on an operating system that's been this quick for an install now maybe it's just I don't remember how quickly Arch installs programs but man is it quick holy mackerel so as far as Chrome is concerned I'm sure there's a way to install Chrome I just uh, maybe they don't make a package for it maybe you just got to get it from Google uh, but yeah it is extremely quick in installing programs. So the only program that I haven't found is the private internet access um, GUI program for VPN. Now I know that you can install the VPN manually and it'll be here, but I personally like the GUI. So that's the only thing I haven't found. Besides Google Chrome, of course, 
and uh, I'm sure that uh, there's probably something that I'm not doing to see Google Chrome or something. I don't know. But Anticos has done um, a awesome job at putting together an Arch system that's easy to install and that has customizations in it. You have, um, and you, when you right click, you're not going to get half of these in a regular vanilla install. And especially the root actions, um, you're not going to get this list of things that you're able to do. Now, you can go get some of these, but a lot of times I find when I try to go get them, uh, they don't work the way they're supposed to, or they don't, like, especially the root actions, that's not the easiest thing to, to find. Uh, there's a couple in the Dolphin plugins, and one of them doesn't work, one of them does, but it has to be installed a certain way. And this is out-of-the-box stuff here. So they've done quite a few things that uh, customize it and make it easier to come over to Arch. Who knows, maybe I'll come over to Arch sometime. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to install it on my main system because... I'm just not there as an Arch user to do that because it is it is good, but when you run into problems, it's not exactly easy to find solutions. There's a lot of research involved in finding solutions for it, and a lot of the solutions are manual solutions, so um, I'm just not there yet. So there's a look at the Antergos KDE version, and I'm going to keep this on my second try for a while, work with it, and... Like I said, who knows, maybe I'll be a convinced Arch user. But until then, Big Daddy, out.